Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope you're doing great. And today, um, it's going to be just more of a freestyle episode, similar to the last five ones. Uh, primarily focusing on working and, and like just essentially why sometimes you're forced to get a better even when you don't feel like it. But like even if you feel that you're doing everything in your capacity, that there's still a different level that you can attain. And the only thing that that's, that's essentially separating you from hitting that net next level is just, just going overboard and just even kind of overshooting the current <laughs> limits that you have. Everything that you start with, you're going to suck. Like there's no way how we can start anything new or like just start learning a new skill and just be do, do something the first time and be immediately good at it. There's a learning curve in everything that you do. And what this implies is that the sooner you start this, the sooner you get better. And the more hours you devote to the mastery of a certain, towards the mastery of a certain craft, the better you get. And there's direct correlation between the number of hours and, and n- number of high quality hours and and the kind of like the results that you achieve, which kind of makes it very easy that if you just like kind of have a certain goal in any area of your life and you just devote time, energy, and like if you focus towards the activity, you'll get better. Everything which you focus on gets better. I mean, I mean like this is not just some hoo-hoo stuff there. This just like physics. Like The more workouts you do, the like lifting, heavy lift, lifting, if you, the more focus you put on, on an effort you put into your diet in terms of eating more protein and stuff, the more effort you put into your trainings and the more trainings you execute, the more total volume you lift every single week, the better you get. That's it. Nothing nothing else. Like it's just about these metrics and the more metrics you're tracking, the better you get. I was when I was doing bodybuilding professionally, I was tracking all metrics. I was tracking how much calories, how many many protein how much protein, like everything. How much salt, how much water, how much um, sl- s- how much hours I slept, how many how many weights I lifted every single training. I tried to lift he- heavier weights and just progressive overload and stuff like that. And I was feeling constantly in terms of like just even me figuring this stuff out. But that's the feeling. Like when you're just pushing so freaking hard, everything feels just so that so so fluffy, so insecure from a certain point of view. But that's the feeling that you'll be experiencing when you'll be growing. That nothing will be certain. The only thing. Th- only certainty you'll have is that everything will be uncertain and that that's completely okay. I know like in terms of sharing advice and stuff, I, I like literally you can only listen to a person when he hears results. If a person doesn't have results, you can listen to him. Like there are many people who, in the past who have tried to give me advice on how I should eat and what I should eat and like stuff like that, but I never listened to them because they were never jack- more jacked than, than I were, than I was. The only people who I listened to were the guys who are bigger and who were more su- successful in terms of bodybuilding. The, the same in business and stuff. And that's the, the reason why I'm just really focused so much on actually just becoming credible source of information and just like literally doing everything in my capacities and even a bit more every single day just to push the needle forward, draw a line in the sand and just like kind of make a decision of which which next steps to go with. A big decision maker is, is for me just to really devote my full focus and undivided attention to one pursuit and go all out. And that's like the feeling that many business people, I'm just like literally still trying to adapt to this. Like many business people are like, like they're guys who are working like 60, 70 hours a week or 80. I'm pushing like 115, which is 35 hours more. 116, so 36 hours. I mean, like how you feel when you're doing this, it's very interesting. On one point of view, you're like, you're going to like just, on one point exhausted, on the other side of the view, you're just like super focused that like your mind is just clear. Literally, there's nothing in there. It's like, imagine a pond, no waves on the pond, just the the, the surface of the lake is similar to mirror 
or like just mirror like or ho however you say that and you just specifically know which things you should be doing in terms of like the execution that's very that's very dark that's right like because you're not doing many things you just have a few things that you're working on on the other hand like they're drawbacks like for sure you incur a lot of costs on the other hand like for me great if you just like like my vision for the person I want to become is like just the the identity that I want to attain is on the other on the other side of just get, getting through this. There's nothing else, just the work itself, and it kind of gives you the biggest pleasure out of everything because you on the <laughs> because only you yourself know whether you put everything you love nothing in your tank. If you leave nothing in your tank, like that's like the greatest feeling every single day because you just go to sleep knowing that. Okay, every single minute of every single hour was utilized to its maximum capacity and that there's just some fumes left that are <laughs> that you use just to go and crash crash in your bed and just wake up the next morning and, and repeat the whole process until until. Um that that's a great question. Like like my goal here is I just literally am very curious about this whole process. Um and definitely we don't want to just just keep pushing this so hard for a very long period of time and there are many things like just focus is so important and and every decision you make has consequences some of them can be great some of them might not be that bad and might not be that good really thinking where i'm gonna go in july i'm thinking of going south america and just medellin um there it seems to be a pretty nice place just to hang out hang out but still, it's just like my main goal is to hit the 10k hours. That's just uh, practical hours. Like I genuinely don't have respect for academics in in most places uh, because it's just like um, I'm literally just so freaking tired of this place here. Um, just just so depressing, um, like academics and stuff. Yeah, um, but don't want to get into that because it's kind of just um, dives my dives my or like decreases or just oh, destroys my mood right away. So just don't want to spend much more time there. Other than that, that should be it. Like just the more you do, the better you get. Uh, today I was even thinking about installing a few software just for me to be able to speed through load of materials in a way faster at a way faster pace and then like like these are the things like you just keep stacking the evidence every single day you just wake up and stack the evidence and like every single day you have one more pillar that's just holding your identity and like the, the identity gives so to say just enables you to achieve bigger results and like for me the biggest thing is that i just literally don't want to be surrounded by people who think small because it just like that that kind of energy just just I, i'm in a, not who who energy it's just the way how i feel about energy and the people who you surround yourself with is that like if you just sp if you just spent like this is the thing if you spend time with people who have different mindset than you have and perhaps they might be so to say employed and searching uh, a great employment and just like literally living this vague life that's um i would say like not the greatest option of living in life in my opinion what what do you think will go in your mind what kind of mood will you be in what kind of like setup mentally will you have once you finish, like once you end the meeting with a person like this, or once you just get up a call from a person like this, like you will be thinking like, okay, um, like literally you will have your mind cluttered with just some, some stupid stuff uh, about how you should, uh, like you'll just start thinking, thinking in a different way and that's kind of derail derails you from your goals and even like kind of that their insecurities reflect on you and you start thinking in these same insecurities about, okay, like is this possible? And like, like just these little thoughts that undermine your identity and undermine your pursuits. And in the last year and every single month, every single week pretty much right now, I'm just like getting tighter and tighter in terms of how much stuff I actually and how much clutter I get lots to get inside me and into my close proximity 
and how much stuff I'm like just getting rid of. In terms of my phone consumption and stuff like that, I guess like when you just limit your phone consumption and all of this stuff and just invest much more time in actually getting better at stuff, you're, you're going to be, be surprised how, how fast you're going to get it pretty fast. But there's the effort. You just have to swim against the current for a bit just to get acquainted with uh, how to use stack and like just all of this stuff. But it, it isn't that, that that long of a process. You can decently learn how to edit videos within a week. Within the first 20 hours, you can decently learn how to sell within the first 20 hours. You can like just genuinely do whatever the heck, learn whatever the heck you want within the first 20 hours. But that's the thing. Like most people are just like lazy. Okay, I'm going to watch phone. I'm going to do this stupid stuff, but never get the, yeah, I never actually get into to the nitty gritty and, and achieve the stuff that they want. And then there are like projects that compound on, on each other. Like for example, social media is a big one here. Um, I've been even thinking like of getting back here. And just like kind of really building it out. But the, the thing there is that like usually build it for, for a while. It isn't something that's going to appear f- from one day to the other. It's something that you're venturing on. And perhaps the first three, four, five years, like three, four, five years might not be experiencing any success. But the bigger vision is that, okay, uh, then everything happens. You have a big hockey stick there and f- from year to year you explode. That's the thing there. So... <clears throat> Just kind of your setup matters in this way pretty much. Um, yeah, I'll cut it here. I guess not sure if there's anything else I'd like to share. <clears throat> just if you want to have more, just do more. Um, I guess the biggest thing that you can have, have at the end of the day is just the identity you acquire of the person who you are. And the things that you know with just like so great just to be going through the world and just understanding stuff better, I guess. Cool. I'll wrap it up here and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Have a blast in the meantime, guys.